I want to start off by giving our praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rock Akadesh. Alright, now um, on this one, just wanted to ask a quick question. Alright, so what is the lick getting sealed with? Alright, after this, I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth. To prevent, to prevent any wind from blowing on the land or on the sea or on any tree. Then I saw another angel coming up from the east, having the seal of the living power. He called out in a loud voice to the four angels who had been given power to harm the land into the sea. Do not harm the land or the sea or the tree until we have put a seal on the foreheads of the servants of Yahweh. All right. Then I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 from all the tribes of Israel. All right. So what is the seal? All right. I'm knowing that it has been revealed to us in this day, but just wanted to ask, you know, what is the seal? All right. You know, and use this app C. All right, now go over to Ezekiel. I believe it's the next chapter. All right. Alright, Ezekiel the ninth chapter in and, and I'm gonna start at the third verse. Now the glory of Yahweh of Israel went up from above the cherubim where it had been, and moved to the threshold of the temple. Then the Lord called to the man clothed in linen who had the writing kit at his side and said to him, Go through the city of Jerusalem. And put a mark on the foreheads of those who grieve and lament over the this detestable things that are done in it. Alright. As I listened, he said to the others, follow him through the city and kill without showing pity or compassion. Slaughter the old man, the young man, and the women, the mother, and the children, but do not touch anyone who has the mark. Me begin in my sanctuary, so they begin with the old men who were in front of the temple. Then he said to them, Defile the temple and fill the courts with the slain. Go, so they went out and began killing throughout the city. All right, so in this, you know, what were these men sealed with? All right, let's gonna make it through this. All right, so what is this seal that we are waiting on? All right, because everyone keeps saying they're waiting for the elect to get sealed. But by what? All right, what is the seal? All right, this is a verse brothers love to bring up. But let's go into this. Right, Isaiah, the fourth chapter. All right, in that day, seven women would take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own food and provide our own clothes. Only let us be called by your name to take away our disgrace. All right. So why are these seven women going to call on one man? What would these one man have? What would these one man be sealed with to where they are getting the protection of the Lord? And these women are going to be so willing to cleave to them. In that day, the branch of the Lord will be brutal and glorious. And the fruit of the land will be the pride and glory of the survivors in Israel. Those who are left in Zion and who remain in Jerusalem will be called holy. All who are recorded among the living in Jerusalem. And the Lord will wash away the filth of the of Zion, women of Zion. And he will cleanse the blood stain from Jerusalem by the spirit of judgment and the, a spirit of fire. All right, so what's the mark this man gonna have on? All right, and um, let's see, you know what I'm saying? What 
it's going to separate these men from all the rest of the men, right? What is this smart? All right, I guess one more piece up. I was wondering, I'm trying to remember what the okay. Right. So, uh, yeah. So, what is this? You know that these all these men are going to be sealed with this mark. All right. What is it? I mean, it's just things for whether to think about, uh, meditate on. All right. Got some uh, scriptures. Let us know. That's what we're waiting on. For the hundred and forty four thousand to be sealed with a mark. Right? And what is this that we're waiting on? And I believe brothers need to really concentrate on this question because it, it was a key to fully understanding everything. Alright? And I know certain brothers, you know, do get it and do understand exactly what this mark is, but there's a lot of brothers who don't. All right, and that is the key. Let's figure out what this mark is. What we are waiting for the servants of the Lord to be sealed by. All right, um, all right. okay, that's gonna end it just right there. And, um, I'm gonna say, Shalom.